Hi everyone. Okay, so this video was sparked by a message that I had on Instagram from one of my lovely followers over on there, Holly Matthews 84 if you want to follow me on there. And this person asked me if I could do a video on what I eat every day. And she kindly said that I look like I have lots of sleep and um, that I look well kind of thing. And I said, yes, I will do a video. Um, and then I realized that actually in being honest, um, I would share with you guys kind of where I'm at right now in terms of diet and eating and sleeping. So when I have go through any kind of stress or trauma or worries, anxiety, anything in my life, I am the person that doesn't eat great. Um, and I don't mean I overeat or I eat junk. I mean, I literally don't eat. And I wanted to share this with you guys because I think sometimes it's kind of something that we don't talk about and people feel a bit embarrassed or especially when you're my size, I'm really tiny naturally, like I'm five foot one, I'm normally, and I don't weigh myself, so I don't say this, so please, for those of you who may feel triggered by this in some way, I, I don't say weight numbers to, for it to be kind of some kind of weird, I don't know, goal or something, because it's not, um, but I'm tiny and just naturally petite, and usually I'm around the, and I still do stones, which is ridiculous, usually I'm around the sort of seven, seven-ish kind of weight, um, seven stone seven, so that's about 48, 49 kilograms, something like that. Um, normally that's about my weight, I'll fluctuate slightly up and down that, but that's that's about right. Um, I'm really small and I'm always pretty much in the middle of my weight, cap, you know, my size and weight and what I should be, so all is good. Um, when I'm stressed, I can't think of anything that I want to do less and then eat. And I really, really struggle to to keep my weight up and, and to, to stay healthy. I really just, I don't, it's not a case of going, oh, pick your favorite food or pick anything, eat chips, eat curry, eat anything. Nothing would suffice when I feel rubbish. Nothing makes me feel good and nothing. I just, the thought of putting food in my mouth makes me want to throw up. And it is something that I'm aware of. So when I know that stress is coming. So when Ross was having um, his second surgery, we went on holiday before and I just ate absolute whatever I wanted because I knew even if I put on a few pounds, it would I would lose it again and I would kind of go back to, I would not eat correctly once I was stressed out. So over the last few months, I have to admit that I've been fairly dire when it comes to eating and I've had to really make an effort. I'll have a few days where I'm, I'm more right with it. Um, and, and then I, I go back into not realizing that I haven't eaten for half a day or a full day. And it's it's not something that I'm like, yay, because <laughs> I'm not, and I'm very aware of it. And thankfully I've got a lot of good friends around me who get up my ass about it and go, you gotta eat, no bed. Um, and I know, and logically, and it's not certainly not an aesthetic thing that I'm like, oh, I need to be skinny because I've always been slim anyway. It's just, it's something that happens for me and I know that some of you will overeat, some of you will have other vices that come out when you're not feeling yourself and you're imbalanced in some way. My other one is that I don't sleep amazing, but that isn't necessarily um, a stress related thing at all, it's just an overactive mind and I've always been a total night owl, so those of you that follow me on social media will no doubt see me on there at some point far too late and sometimes it's annoying but I've kind of just never really, I've kind of always run on very little sleep. When I was younger my dad used to get up early, he was a welder and he used to go to work really really early and I used to get up and like watch the news with him and you know just be up early and I, I just always have run on very little sleep so I can't <laughs> say that my eating habits or my sleeping or anything to aspire to like really they're not and if when you watch stuff you're like she looks great <laughs> it's nothing to do with those things honestly it's good lighting good makeup and probably the fact that I don't 
I don't drink alcohol very often. I'm not saying I never do, but I rarely do. I don't smoke. Um, I do drink a lot of green tea, so drink a lot. I drink a fair amount of water. Sometimes too much coffee at the minute as well. Um, but I think it's just smoke and mirrors, guys. I think it's just good lighting and probably good genes, which is a bit annoying, isn't it? But I just wanted to do this in in a kind of just because of honesty because I don't want to sit there and pretend I'm amazing I'm actually in normal life I'm normal when I'm good I eat fairly well I like good food I eat my veg my salad I absolutely stuff my face full of salad I love it um I'm, I'm fairly happy like I like good food I don't like processed foods and stuff very much like I wouldn't it would be rare that I had stuff like that so maybe that holds me in good stead in the longer term that I don't do that and when I'm not amazing at eating when I'm having you know a tough time or challenges in my life then maybe that just kind of counteracts that a little bit but I thought I would kind of open up that conversation I know there'll be some of you that will be you know just think well that's not a problem but it kind of is because I've dropped to a seven <coughs> seven two seven zone two which is too low for me really uh, it's not horrendous and in it and i felt all right the last few days i've been you know i've been eating a little bit better um so yeah so my lovely friend on instagram this is my honest video and i wish i could say i was one of those yogi yoga people who has amazing smoothies every day but the honest truth is it's probably just makeup and the fact that I don't dehydrate my body that much. Um, so that's it. I thought I'd share that with you guys. I hope you understand that and I'm good. I'm cool. Oh, also I'm on Lorraine Kelly on Thursday in the UK at about quarter to nine in the morning. I'm going to be doing an interview on there with, with the lovely Lorraine Kelly and we're going to be talking about grief and loss. So I'd love it if you could tune in and let me know how you all are and if it helps and share it with your friends and family that need it too. I'll speak to you all soon. Peace.